Hello and welcome to another episode of Seattle Cryptocurrency, episode five. It's August 24th. I'm Dennis Lapchus in Seattle. Once again, wanted to report on a meetup group that I went to last night and attended. It was the Seattle blockchain meetup in downtown Seattle. And holy cow, I'm telling you, I was impressed. The room was filled with some really smart people. And I'm telling you, these, these folks knew a lot about blockchain. It was very interesting and challenging as far as all the different questions and following all the different technologies and understanding it. But it was really great to uh, gain some more information. I've been drinking from the blockchain cryptocurrency fire hose as much as I can. And this was a great group of people that will help me get to that next level. There were all kinds of great people there. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to Nick um, and Chris. That's a couple of neat guys I met last night. Vlad was there, who I'm a Vlad fan from. Uh, he runs the, uh, the uh, I think it's the Bitcoin and blockchain uh, for absolute beginners course and does a great job with that. Uh, but anyway, uh, the main topic last night was the discussion of Dragon Chain. Joe Rowitz, who is one of the creators of Dragon Chain, and essentially I, I would call him the spokesperson at least for now. I don't know anybody else uh, that is the designated spokesperson, but he did a great job last night of giving a presentation on what Dragon Chain is and kind of what their plans are moving into the future. Um, it was really interesting. So it's um, sounded like a, a, essentially a group of people from Disney. Um, he's been dabbling in blockchain technology for since 2010. Um, and so eventually he got to the point where he was working uh, at Disney. He got together with a, a, another group or a bunch of people that were doing software development at Disney and they started doing all kinds of projects off hours and it kind of uh, evolved from there. I don't want to butcher it. I'm by no means an expert on Dragon Chain, um, but I, my understanding is that it's technology that it's, it's essentially another blockchain that will be utilized to help with business transactions and things like that. Whereas the blockchain that everyone is focused on right now is the cryptocurrency one because that's where you know the get rich quick schemes are all about. And they're not schemes, but you know what I'm saying. Everybody's focused on making money off of cryptocurrencies right now. The blockchain is going to open up all different kinds of innovation and technology. So the one bit of news that Joe shared was that they're going to be uh, going public and attempting to raise some money with a, a token offering here in the next month. So that's kind of exciting and something I thought, well, geez, I need to, I should, I should support that and promote it. Here's something in, in Seattle that's happening. It's, it's here, it's now. People that I can reach out and actually have a conversation with in my own city. So, and, and doing some great work. So, um, I, I would, I want to, I want to get this video out. Um, I wanted to promote it and have people look into it. Um, there's a website you can gain some information, but I don't, the, the announcement of the token has not been, it's not made, been made public yet. So, um, there isn't a ton of information on that, but, um, keep your ears peeled. One quote that I wanted to share with you all that I, uh, Joe, um, shared last night, he said, and, and this was something that I just love this quote was, this technology will create a marketplace of truth. And that's something that really excites me about this development. And, you know, I'm really hoping that this technology, um, the invention of the blockchain and all this, all this development that's occurring on top of it is things that we can go, all right, this is the, the good guys are creating this. And uh, this is gonna help out uh, the future uh, of our planet. That's what everyone could use some of that right now. Something to be 
uh, to look forward to, something to, to believe in, and uh, something that's positive. So that's what I'm going for. I mean, I, I get the technology of the blockchain and how it is a, an, a, essentially a historical ledger, public ledger that's decentralized that once it's once the transactions have been verified by the various nodes around the world is incredibly, incredibly, almost impossible to change the, the, the long historical um, accounting that it holds. So I definitely understand that piece of it and I'm really looking forward to watching how this changes our planet, hopefully for the better. All right, that'll do it for episode five of Seattle Cryptocurrency. I'm Dennis Lapchus in Seattle, and if you like what you're hearing, please subscribe, like, and uh, reach out. Be curious to hear from you in the comment sections below, and I'll do my best to, uh, to document the journey ahead and keep you posted as to what's going on in the blockchain world of Seattle. All right, till next time, take care.